All right, so this morning we have another teaser for the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Wave 2 collaboration if you come to the mini Battle Pass tab, and that's really what it is. I mentioned that in the title of my other video and people got mad. I was like, wait a minute, the sewer lit up top there is literally where the mini Battle Pass is gonna be. The Battle Pass isn't there yet, but that's the Battle Pass tab, that's where it's gonna be. If you've experienced any of the mini Battle Passes we've ever had, for example, Star Wars or Dragon Ball, it's a little icon up there that you click and the battle pass appears. That's exactly what that is. Anyway, if we click into it, let's see what happens now. I love the subtle animation. So you click in and then boom, an ominous shadow appears. So let me just do it a few times here. I love that it just doesn't linger, but it reappears every single time you click into it. Now, unfortunately, no new quests have appeared. So if you click view quests and you've already done the April O'Neil ones, nothing really happens. It's all still the same. Now what did change is the music. It's no longer that upbeat music, but instead it's almost just like a humming. So I'll be quiet for a second, listen to this. So you know things are getting serious when the music changes. So we've got four days, 18 hours, and 35 minutes until the collaboration. And of course that translates to February 9th, which is this Friday. So this is stage two of the teaser. There's gonna be another stage, I believe the same day as the downloadable update. So two days ago, we got the first stage. Today we've got this one. In two more days, we've got stage three, which is gonna be awesome. So obviously the shadow is of Shredder. He's getting closer and closer. He's gonna be arriving soon. I imagine he's gonna be in the mini battle pass. So just in case you forget how those work, we can go literally to the Fortnite Festival game mode and check it out. So there's a free stage up top where the whole row is 100% free. And then the bottom row usually costs around 1500 V-Bucks. But for this one in the festival, it's 1800. So anywhere, I guess from 15 to 1800 V-Bucks is what you have to pay. Now, normally the best reward, AKA Shredder, is gonna be at the end of the paid version. So it always seems to be like that. So anticipate Shredder to be in the paid version. But most people are assuming that there's gonna be more skins than just Shredder. In fact, if we come to our emotes and we type in Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles or TMNT, we've got a few sprays in particular, this one right here, the Rat King. So he's one of the villains in the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles universe. Not my favorite one. In fact, I'd rather have Bebop or Rocksteady or even Krang, but the spray doesn't lie. It does say the Rat King. So I imagine maybe we'll get him as well. If not now, then possibly sometime in the future. Otherwise, why would they have this? These sprays always tease things that are coming to the game. Pretty cool, but the highlight of this video obviously is that Shredder is lurking in the background. Four days left, he's almost here. So there you go. That's all there is to it. Hopefully you guys enjoy this video. A like is always appreciated. And don't forget to use my supporter grader code, which is TaborTime.